High Limit begins their midweek championship within a championship tonight. Billy Moyer picks up a super late model ride for the year's big shows, and we've had a big setback for this racetrack's revival. Let's go. It's Tuesday, April 16th. I'm Justin Fiedler. This is Dirt Tracker Daily presented by Kubota Genuine Parts. Uh, before we get started today, a quick shout out to some new channel members on YouTube who have joined in the last about month or so. A big thanks to Tom, Ross, Marshall, and Warren for their support of what I do here with Dirt Tracker. If you'd like to check out the membership program, you can click the join buttons on the YouTube channel or visit youtube.com slash dirt tracker slash join. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like these videos. Subscribing to the channel or podcast, always free, always will be. Uh, liking the videos helps tell YouTube or Facebook, wherever you watch, that they should share this with others as well in the algorithm. And if you're more of a Facebook person, I have been posting full daily shows to the Dirt Tracker Facebook page, so you can get the daily on YouTube, Facebook, or any of the major podcast platforms, wherever is best for you. Uh, we did cross 10,000 followers over on Facebook in recent days, which is super cool, so thank you for that. All right, let's get into today's show. It might be early in the week, but we do have a big-time sprint car racing tonight. The Kubota High Limit Sprint Cars are headed for Red Dirt Raceway in Oklahoma with $20,000 on the line, and this is the start of the midweek championship. Remember that this new full national tour version of High Limit is actually two championships in one. There's the season long title, which includes the chase for the first five charters, but there's also the shorter midweek deal. It's 10 races, has its own $100,000 point fund, and that's on top of elevated purchase for, uh, purses for each of these events. Now, all of these shows are going to pay 20,000 to win. Tyler Courtney is the current overall championship leader with Brad Sweet, Brent Marks, Corey Day, and Anthony Macri completing the top five. Macri was not a driver initially signed on with High Limit, but he has run all, high limit, uh, all six High Limit events so far. And High Limit did share a pre-event entry, uh, pre entry list yesterday with 35 cars expected to race tonight. All of the current full-time teams are represented on this list, plus Kyle Larson, who we know is planning to compete in all of the midweek events. And we know that Connor Morrell fell off the tour last weekend, and I was curious if that meant Cap Henry was still in line to chase the midweek title, and he is listed uh, with all of the other entries for tonight. Other notables here include Ryan Timms, Cole Macedo, and Kevin Newton in the 16 machines, Tanner Holmes, Brady Bacon, Kerry Madsen, Dominic Selzy, and Hunter Schurenberg. There could and probably will be some additional changes to this list by tonight as well. A lot of these drivers are going to Red Dirt with very little experience there. The last major touring sprint car race to happen at the track was an all-star visit back in 2020. The track does host a bunch of other sprint car racing, though, including the OCRS and the USL. Some drivers who are at that all-star show that are racing tonight include Larson, Corey Eliason, Justin Peck, Zeb Wise, Blake Hahn, and the aforementioned Dominic Selzy. If you can't get to Red Dirt tonight, Flow Racing will have live coverage. If you need a Flow Racing subscription, click the link below uh, on YouTube or the Flow Racing links over at dirttracker.com. That gets you everything Flow has to offer and helps out Dirt Tracker at no additional cost to you. Uh, the situation at Pennsboro Speedway in West Virginia, it's a story we've been following since October of 2022. Following their involvement in bringing North Wilkesboro back to prominence, XR's next hope for a racetrack revival was Pennsboro, which was the original home of several big uh, dirt late model events, including the Dirt Track World Championship. A year and a half later, a schedule is in place for 2024, but plans recently took a significant blow. After originally starting work on a quarter mile track that was going to utilize part of the previous half mile plus some of the infield, work shifted over the winter towards bringing back the original track layout. XR abandoned the reconfiguration with the support of the local community, and back at the end of February, we shared some images of progress to bring the surface to modern standards. A warm winter in the area had allowed crews to get started on work with the first event scheduled for May 26th and 27th. Just a few days ago, though, the track and XR's plans suffered a major setback with the entire facility being flooded. There are two creeks that cross the racetrack itself, and they went over their banks because of recent rains. And here are some photos uh, of kind of the situation at Pennsboro here uh, just, you know, what, four, five, six days ago. Obviously, you can see a ton of water on the property. Um, you know, these are the creeks itself. There are obviously a couple of bridges that cross the creeks. They were uh, right up over the banks. Um, and then in recent days here, the creek has started to recede. So, you know, you can see the track surface starting to pop back out again. 
And like I said, the, the creeks drop back to normal levels, but this will mean cleanup and added delays. With about six weeks left before the first event, there's still a lot of work to do before the ULMS and Ultimate Heart of America late models are scheduled to race. XR and its team will need the weather to play nice between now and then to have any chance of getting everything completed. The rest of the Pennsboro schedule this season includes fast and boss sprint cars in July, crate late models and modifieds in August, and the XR Super Series late models in October. We will continue following progress at Pennsboro into the future here. A quick Tuesday stat of the day for you. We've talked plenty here in the past about how good Logan Seavey has been lately in USAC and open wheel competition, but here are some numbers to back it up. First, CV right now is riding a 22 race top 10 streak in USAC and national midget competition. That is the longest of any such streak uh, for any major dirt racing series right now. The last time he was outside the top 10 in a USAC major race was June 5th of 2023 at Circle City. And he actually led late into that race, but ended up DNFing. Overall, the last time CV missed the top 10 in any USAC show was September 16th of 2023 at Hopstot. That was in a USAC sprint car race. He ended up 11th that night, so not far out of the top 10. Since then, he's racked up 23 straight top 10s across USAC. That's 10 in the sprint car, 11 in the midget, and 2 in the silver crown car. And this doesn't include his trio of wins at the Chili Bowl back in January. Remember, he won uh, the uh, uh, Invitational Race of Champions, the prelim night, and the, and the Golden Driller at the end. CV's USAC season continues this weekend on the pavement at Toledo for the Silver Crown opener. In some late model news this week, Hall of Fame dirt late model racer Billy Moyer is partnering up with Todd Cooney to run some special events this season. The schedule will include the dirt late model Dream, the World 100, both of those at Eldora, the late model Knoxville Nationals, and the Dirt Track World Championship. The pairing will kick their season off April 26th, though, with the Word of Outlaws at Arrowhead Speedway. The team is looking for additional sponsorship and funding for the car as well. Warriors 21 will be in addition to the 30 car that Todd Cooney himself runs and the 19R that is campaigned for Ryan Gustin. Those two are regulars this season with the Outlaws. Gustin is currently 10th in the Outlaw standings with Cooney in 16th. Both drivers are still seeking their first top 10 finishes of the season. Moyer already has a pair of crate liminal wins this season, going back to Central Arizona Raceway in January. Last year, Moyer appeared 53 times, picking up three victories, including a Mars win at Farmer City in March. All right, that's it for the daily show today. High Limit isn't the only thing racing tonight, so make sure to stop by dirttracker.com slash watch tonight to see what your streaming options are. There is action coming up from Beaver Dam and Millbridge. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday out there. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.